Hi, everyone. Uh, it's great to see you all um, or virtually meet you. Um, welcome to Mount Vernon's Facebook Live. Uh, thank you for coming back if you watched these before. Um, thank you for tuning in for the first time um, if you're here. Uh, more importantly, welcome to Teaching Tuesdays. Woo! Um, my name is Sadie Troy. I am the lead student learning specialist in our K-12 and youth program department. Whew, that's quite a title. <laughs> it's a long business part. Um, but I'm really excited uh, to see uh, to interact with you all today um, on our very first Teaching Tuesday. Um, my department's kind of focus is part of the education at Mount Vernon. So we are super excited for these sessions that'll happen every Tuesday um, as a great way to keep our connections with the incredible teachers, students, um, parents who have now become educators uh, for as long as we can. Um, so happy you're all here. I see some people in the comments are already telling us where they're from. Um, I guess I should say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, I think we have some West Coasters, some European uh, visitors. So this is great. Um, the first thing I wanna talk about is kind of what Teaching Tuesdays are going to be all about. Um, these sessions uh, are going to be um, hopefully interactive and conversational, um, as well as active uh, for all of our viewers. Um, our goal is to use this time to connect with our K-12 audience, whether they be teachers or students. Um, we wanna showcase some of the great resources that Mount Vernon has um, that can help with classroom curriculum and student learning um, and impact the educational system. Um, and then not only highlight those resources, but then show different activities on different ways to learn from them. Um, so that's kind of gonna be the whole thing moving forward. Sorry, I feel like I'm using my hands so much, I'm nervous. <laughs> Dr. Bradburn's a hard act to follow for those that tuned in yesterday. So, but we're happy to, happy to be doing this. Um, a little kind of background about um, some of the resources that we are gonna be highlighting. Um, our education department here at Mount Vernon um, has worked hard for um, many, many years to connect with our teachers and students across the country. Um, we host a George Washington Teacher Institute that in 2019 just celebrated its 20th anniversary. So, woo! Um, that was very exciting. Um, but we've also, for the past five years, um, and a, probably a little longer, really been pushing the digital um, initiatives to find out ways how we can help showcase the incredible resources that our curators, our historians, um, our archeologists, our architects, um, who do cutting edge research at Mount Vernon, who dive deep into all the original documents and objects and artifacts, how we can take those, kind of manipulate those resources and put them in the classroom to further expand, not just learning about George Washington at Mount Vernon, but at your site where you are in the classroom. So those are some of the things that we're gonna be talking about. And I know at this point, um, online learning, digital practices, some teachers are experiencing for the first time, some students are learning about for the first time. Um, it's a little scary, it's a big shock, um, but it's something that we're very comfortable with. It's something that Mount Vernon um, and our department has worked on for many years. Um, so we're really here to help you all through it, um, to show you different ways that it can be incorporated um, into the classroom at home um, as a group by yourself. Um, so these are the great focus points, bonus points of these Facebook Live sessions is to 
be doing this uh, or to be showcasing this to more people because um, it is something we're comfortable with and it's something we're really proud of and we want to be here for you all and support uh, the work that teachers are doing in the classroom, parents are doing at home, and the students themselves are doing every day. Um, so with that being said, um, what I wanna highlight today is um, a hub page on our website that we created. The education department partnered with our digital historians at our uh, Fred W. Smith National Library for the Study of George Washington, our research library, um, and put together a hub page, um, kind of a great digestible starting point for teachers, students, parents, anyone, um, scholars, academics, um, there's no age limit on this, um, but as a great place for them to start um, and be introduced to the different items that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you all and show you this hub page. It's very easy to access on our Mount Vernon website. Okay. The website, uh, the link is www.mountvernon.org slash online learning. That'll take you right to this site, okay? Let's see, and as you can see, um, we're gonna be talking, it's got all types of different selections to start. Um, but again, this is just to highlight some of our great digital offerings that we have um, for students and teachers uh, as they kind of navigate this new arena of online learning. Um, so the first piece that we have is our interactive learning and media. Um, these are great dynamic um, videos, dynamic um, interactives like Be Washington and our virtual tour. I can highlight more things here for you. It, the scroll kind of goes, our Ask Mount Vernon series. Um, these are great, great resources. Um, that are really going to captivate um, your audience. Uh, the virtual tour is a great way to see those rooms. If you followed Dr. Bradburn yesterday in the new room, um, you can go even further and get closer up version um, images of some of those great paintings and the mantelpiece that he was talking about. Um, our B. Washington in the classroom is a great way for anyone of all ages um, to understand different um, challenges that Washington faced both as president and as a commander in chief of the Continental Army, hear what's going on and then make a decision and decide how to face that challenge like Washington did. Um, these are great items that can be viewed together, they can be viewed separately, um, and a wonderful piece. Um, the next section is one that our education department is very excited um, to put everything together on this site. And that is our primary, our digital primary sources. Um, as you can see, the list goes on and on. And as educators, um, we love primary sources. Um, and again, this is a great space where we get to highlight the original artifacts that our archeology span team uh, are digging up from different sites on the estate. This is where we get to highlight the papers of George Washington that our librarians and special collectors um, have been saving and putting together um, in our library. Uh, it's where we get to highlight the objects from our collection that our curators take such good care of and research to, to find out about the actual lives of George Washington, Martha Washington, the enslaved community um, at Mount Vernon. Um, and all of these are online and a great way to keep those primary sources um, in front of your students, even though they're not in the classroom. These are all digitized. There are images, there are descriptions, um, there are great great ways to further interact with them. Um, the next highlighted section here are our secondary sources. Um, hopefully some of you are fans of our digital encyclopedia uh, at Mount Vernon. It's kind of the great 
who's uh, who's who, what's what, everything of Washington's life. Um, but this section here highlights all the different um, content uh, and information that our historians have researched and then put together um, for secondary sources for topics that cover all different subjects. Um, this is that great kind of first bite of content to understand about Washington and then everything naturally because we're educators is linked back to those primary sources. So you get to dig deeper and find out where the, those ideas and topics came from. Um, finally, the last section on this website um, are just great fun online student learning activities. Um, interactive coloring pages, games and quizzes. Um, we have some great modules um, inquiry-based learning activities uh, that we created with a partner, McGraw-Hill, um, where students can, you know, follow different lesson plans led by essential questions to dive deeper into understanding topics and connecting Washington to a much bigger world. Um, so I'll slowly scroll up, but this page that's www.mountvernon.org slash online learning um, is just a monumental access point for students, teachers, parents to dive in to better understand the kind of plethora um, of options that Mount Vernon has um, to share with teachers, students, learners of all ages. Um, I know I've been talking a lot and I went through that website really fast, but there is a reason for that. Um, for the next long amount of time, um, or however long this is going, um, our Teaching Tuesdays are always gonna focus around this site. Um, as we move forward, every week we are going to be showcasing and modeling um, an activity around student learning um, using one of these resources on the website. Um, so we are going to be doing object analysis uh, of different images and objects from our online uh, curatorial collection from artifacts that our archaeologists have found. Um, we're going to be diving into the virtual tour um, and understanding different practices and ideas to learn about the the teaching of place um, and the power of place and how um, you know we can learn so much about Washington's biography, about the biography of some of the enslaved individuals based on original buildings that are still intact. Um, so it's going to be um, much more active uh, on these sessions, but um, we're all going to be based around the items we already have and the items that we know teachers use and will really help impact um, learning in our young audiences. Um, so these future talks, um, I hope teachers check in and you can use these activities um, later on in the classroom or virtually with your students. Um, we hope students check in um, and go through these activities with us and learn more about Washington and his revolutionary world of the 18th century. Um, we hope parents check in to maybe take these activities at home now that you know you are facing a new challenge of, of becoming an educator yourself. Um, so hopefully um, we get to reach a lot of people um, and just really showcase how distance learning, digital learning is not scary and that there are great resources and museums here to help. Okay. Um, with kind of that being said, I know that I have talked at you for a long time um, and that I have some colleagues who are helping with the questions, but I'd love to answer any questions about Mount Vernon's um, resources. Yes, uh, was popping on the page. I couldn't hear the page's name. Can someone repeat it? Yes, I'll repeat it. Um, it's our online learning page. And hold on, I'll go ahead and share it one more time on my screen here. It's our online learning page. And um, the link is www.mountvernon.org slash online learning. 
and that'll take you directly to this site. Um, that'll connect you uh, with all these great options that are already on our website in various different places. But this is that nice digestible hub page um, to bring it in. So www.mountvernon.org slash online learning. And again, a big thank you to our Center for Digital History um, and our new media department for helping us combine these resources and put them all together. Um, you'll learn, we all learn very quickly that museum education is a team sport. Um, and we are very lucky at Mount Vernon that we have one of the best teams in the industry uh, coming together to share these resources and put them together for you all. So I'm going to stop sharing. Um, so what would be fun activities to do online? Um, great. Why did I stop sharing my screen? Um, we have tons. Um, one of our favorites uh, that we like to showcase um, and discuss that's fun online is our B, is that B Washington Interactive. Um, it has four different scenarios. It's able to be downloaded uh, by Chrome or iOS apps, um, or you can stream it right online. Um, it's four different scenarios uh, where you face four different challenges that Washington faced, two as president and two as commander in chief of the Continental Army. Um, as you play the interactive, um, you hear from advisors, you hear different pieces of information um, that Washington would have received, some that complement each other, some that don't complement each other. Um, and in the end, you have to decide how you would handle the situation. Um, so that's a really great activity. Um, that's fun to do. Um, what I think is great that we have teachers doing with students um, using our virtual tour is um, experiencing different rooms on the virtual tour, um, spending five minutes doing kind of a look-see um, and learning what different, active, um, what different items are in each room, um, setting up a little bit of a scavenger hunt uh, on the virtual tour to find different items. So. There are all sorts of fun things to do online, not to mention if you need a little mind break from the learning while still picking up some information, I highly suggest our interactive coloring pages. Um, they are quite a crowd pleaser. Do we have any other games about Washington on our website? So we do. Um, and they're kind of at different levels of interaction. Um, if you go to mountvernon.org slash quizzes, um, our new media department has put together a great list of different ways to test your knowledge about George Washington, about Martha Washington, um, different founding fathers of this 18th century, the enslaved community um, of Mount Vernon. Um, so a lot of great interaction there. Um, as you can see on the online student learning opportunities, we have a few interactives, um, games and quizzes. You can compare George versus George, see if you know um, items that are aligned with George Washington or King George III. Um, so all types of different fun ways um, and everything's hubbed right here. Oh, great question. Are there any lesson plans that align with interactive sources? There are. We, our website um, has great, um, where did we put those? Aha, lesson plans for teachers. Um, so these are great free downloadable lesson plans that teachers or parents, anyone um, can access. Um, that take different information from our websites, different content in the research of George Washington and have already created activities, um, inquiry studies, um, analysis practices uh, that teachers uh, and parents can use right away with their students. Um, one of the great items is that these lesson plans um, are created for teachers by teachers. Um, we have a wonderful George Washington uh, teacher fellowship opportunity um, that we invite educators. They propose projects um, to put together these lesson plans and activities to put together these worksheets, these coloring pages um, on our website for other teachers to use and highlight. Okay. 
Do activities specify grade levels or are they just for everyone? Um, this is a really wonderful question and one that I just want to point out is as you look at this website, you are not going to see an age for really any of these options. Um, we believe that this website, that all of the resources um, that must to offer, um, it's not necessarily for students, for teachers, this is for everyone. Um, and it's um, for us to put our resources forward and then let the educators who understand their students, who understand their learning process, take that information and kind of mold it best to how they think their students will learn. Um, but uh, the way we pose it is that all this information is for everyone um, to use and at the different level that they can um, achieve it or approach it. All right, I think we have, I'm looking at the clock here and I've been rambling on to you guys. Um, I think we have time for one more question. So this one here is, what would you recommend doing for fun on this? And I'm gonna say absolutely everything. You're talking to somebody who works at Mount Vernon, who loves history um, and absolutely adores everything on our website. I think something really fun is to just explore those different um, collections that we have, um, though we kind of call them our e-museums. Take a minute and look through our museum collections. Um, you can see all different types of objects, paintings, um, swords that Washington owned. Um, that's a wonderful activity. Um, something fun to do is our digital video series. These, some of these are short videos, um, like our Ask Mount Vernon series, where students have sent us questions and our experts have answered them. Um, but some are also 15 minute, 20 minute long, full production, bombs exploding, um, graphic videos where you can learn about the Battle of Yorktown, um, how important the Constitution was and Washington's founding of it, uh, involvement in it. Um, so. I know this is a boring answer, but anything listed on that site is something to do for fun. Podcasts. I didn't even mention that we have an incredible podcast series um, that I recently recorded one, um, but that our, our digital historian, Jim Embusky, puts together with incredible research fellows and scholars um, like Kate Brown and Dr. Lindsay Travinsky talking about different um, you know, points of Washington's life and the influence that he had on the 18th century and the entire world around it. Um, so with this website, www.mountvernon.org slash online learning, I don't think there's a single thing you can go wrong that won't be fun to explore, okay? Um, thank you all for joining us um, on our very first Teaching Tuesday. Um, we are gonna be back every single week. Um, on Tuesdays at noon Eastern um, and next week's activity that I hope you all come back for is uh, an analysis, uh, is an image analysis of one of the collection items that we own um, by Edward Savage. It's going to be the West, uh, it's going to be the West, uh, <laughs> it's going to be the uh, painting of Mount Vernon um, from the Western Front. Um, it's by Edward Savage. We're going to be great discussing and diving deep into the analysis, acting like a curator to pull out what different levels of information um, we can learn from this one image. Um, but if you're looking for other things to do, please don't forget that we host these live sessions um, every single day. Um, tomorrow is Washington Wednesday. You can't miss a Washington Wednesday, especially when Dr. Doug Bradburn is back um, talking about the general himself. Um, so thank you all again. I hope to see you next week um, and tomorrow when I get to participate in the chat uh, and learn from Dr. Bradburn. So enjoy the day. Happy Teaching Tuesday.